We're talking about them, you're talking about them, everyone is bloody talking about them. You can stick a fork in most of the title races across Europe's biggest leagues because they're done. They're Fini, Terminado and Binde. But not in Italy, and that's thanks to one man and one team. Maurizio Sarri, who's got Napoli dreaming of a first Scudetto since the days of Diego Maradona. But how has he done it? How did a chain-smoking ex-banker who only began coaching in the top flight at the age of 55 become one of the most sought-after managers in world football? And just what is Sarismo? Well, to understand the philosophy, you have to understand the man behind it. Sadi spent the early stages of his coaching career flitting between a string of teams in amateur leagues while still working his day job. A fierce idealist, he often moved on from clubs after only a year or so in charge for one reason or another. After spending over 20 years making his way up the Italian football pyramid and guiding Empoli to promotion from Serie B and Serie A survival, he was finally offered his first elite job, Napoli. A fan of the club since boyhood, you could have been forgiven for thinking he'd go a bit overboard when he was announced as manager. But no, nothing of the sort. He simply described it as an opportunity for him. The city of Naples wasn't impressed, and even Diego Maradona himself came out against the appointment. But if Sadi was understated in his press conferences, the football his team played would be anything but. His commitment to attacking, easy on the eye football is never compromised. And it's this approach that's led to Napoli becoming one of the outstanding teams on the continent and right up there with the best to watch. Looking at the way Napoli line up in an orthodox 4-3-3 formation, there's little to suggest just how radical they actually are on the pitch. Sadi instills complete confidence in every member of his squad as a ball player, which leads to some pretty special passages of play and goals. You might have seen a few of their incredible team goals that have gone viral online and thought, that must have been a one-off, right? Wrong. This is their bread and butter. The Cerismo philosophy requires an energetic passing game, creating triangles and options all over the pitch. A central defensive partnership of Raul Albiol and Kalidou Koulibaly complement each other perfectly to allow this to be implemented right from the back, providing a brilliant mix of technical prowess, pace and power. With the opposition often lured into closing their defence down in numbers, Napoli can break with devastating speed if they manage to beat the press. Further up the pitch, they like to do a lot of their attacking down the left-hand side with Fauzi Gulam, who staked his claim as one of the league's best fullbacks, linking up with Marek Hamzik and Lorenzo Insigne. Their midfield three featuring Hamzik, who broke Diego Maradona's all-time Napoli goal-scoring record this season, the energetic Allen, who helps out in defence and attack, as well as the brilliantly creative Jorginho, who quite simply has the lot. And then you've got Sarri's masterstroke. After Gonzalo Higuain was sold to Juventus and Arkadius Milik out injured, he began playing Dries Mertens up front in late 2016, something he'd never done before in his career. Despite being widely labelled as a false nine, Mertens himself came out against this interpretation of his role and having popped along at almost a goal a game for the past two seasons, we're not going to argue with him. Pressing their opponents and forcing them into mistakes without the ball, pace, fluid movement and intensity with it are the real hallmarks of this Napoli side. When they happen in unison, it's quite a sight to behold. Sarri prefers working with what he's got rather than splashing out on too many new players, something that makes him a bit of a rarity in the modern game. And it's just one of many attributes that have made him an attractive prospect for clubs further afield. He's been linked with both the Arsenal and Chelsea jobs, and despite him insisting that he's committed to Napoli long term, there's a sense that this season could be now or never for the Partenope. After sacrificing both the Champions League and Europa League in a bid to secure their first title in almost 30 years, their relentless domestic form has finally stuttered with a 4-2 home defeat to Roma. But their race is far from run, and if Sarri could do the previously almost unthinkable and end Juventus' period of complete and utter dominance, he'd surely be spoken of in the same mythical vein as Maradona himself. But even if he can't, he still made Napoli dream again.